The Chicago Mercantile Exchange is launching Bitcoin futures. Here's what that means. As long as regulators give it the go-ahead, Bitcoin will soon have an official futures contract, and it will live on the largest futures exchange in the world. That means investors will be able to lock in a price for Bitcoin as long as they agree to buy or sell it at that same price on a certain day in the future. For the average investor, that means less price volatility, something Bitcoin has become notorious for. But it may be an even bigger deal for institutional investors. As of now, they're not able to directly invest in cryptocurrencies. But these new derivatives could change all of that. Here's how it would work. Bitcoin's future price is determined every day at around 4 p.m. London time. CME currently uses its CF Bitcoin reference rate, or the BRR, to do so. The BRR is a weighted index of prices from four cryptocurrency exchanges, Bitstamp, GDAX, ITBIT, and Kraken. The contracts will be cash settled. That means investors will be able to exchange the contracts for cash. That's opposed to a physically settled futures contract, which are used in the actual delivery of commodities like corn. It's important to note that this is all pending regulatory approval, but people are already getting concerned. Take Joe Saluzzi, a principal at Themis Trading. He told CNBC Bitcoin futures remind him of the financial crisis all over again. Remember the CDO wrapper around all those crappy mortgages during the financial crisis? Placing a wrapper doesn't make it safe. Saluzzi said he worries the CME's approval could legitimize Bitcoin, and it could go mainstream before investors really understand what they're getting into. Here's what CME's chairman in chief had to say. People are looking for more efficient ways to do commerce. And, you know, whether this is the right way or not, I'm not quite sure. But I do know one thing for sure is we are going to list the product under our rules. And if it doesn't work, we have the ability to eliminate it. Despite the backlash from some on Wall Street, Bitcoin's price surged to a new record high following the news. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.